Hello, this is artist, entrepreneur, and art educator Eric McRae here to offer um, some words of wisdom to the emerging artists. So I would say the best advice I could give to a young, uh, well, not necessarily young, but an emerging artist is that three points. One is to develop a thick skin, uh, thus keep a level-headed uh, attitude about everything. Two to develop discipline, and thirdly, to keep it fun. Uh, on the front end, when you produce art, uh, art is so subjective that there are gonna be different varied opinions of what you do. Um, so bottom line is that one person's taste may not be the same as the other. Thus, when you produce something, uh, you're still you, what you produce is there, but the opinions or the perspective of how that thing or that piece of work is perceived is going to vary accordingly. For example, someone puts chocolate on the table and says, I'm serving chocolate. And somebody says, I hate chocolate. Someone says, I love chocolate. Somebody says, I love sushi. I hate sushi, whatever. The point is that the sushi is still sushi. The chocolate is still chocolate. You have still served these and the tastes vary. Thus, you cannot take all that is said personally. Um, when someone uh, criticizes you on a personal level, that's a little bit different. But when they speak of your work and what you produce, you have to be level-headed, be open enough to take a constructive criticism and to be able to be honest with yourself about what you produce, whether it's quality or not. But taste can vary. So that is part of that keeping a level head and developing a thick skin so you're not pushed to and fro by the whims and the taste of others. Secondly is discipline. You cannot wait around to be moved by the muse to produce. You must push yourself and be self-motivated. You cannot be uh, influenced by environmental conditions well, if I only had a big studio or if, if I didn't have kids or if it wasn't raining today, you have to be consistent in your efforts to produce your work. And I equate that to my friends who have been in the military, who are soldiers, uh, they're in the army, and all of them told me how they had to produce and get results regardless of environmental conditions. And my friends who are athletes are the very same way. They practice, they practice, they practice, they produce, they produce, produce. And too often artists are too temperamental and thus their productivity and the quality of their work is too varied because of their temperamental uh, mercurial nature. That will not get you to the level of success that you may be striving for. Learn to be disciplined. And thirdly, um, keep it fun. I mean, when I was a kid, I used to sit in front of the television and I would draw the Enterprise off Star Trek or draw Speed Racer's car or draw Superman or whatever. Just having fun as a kid, mimicking and copying what I saw on television. And that joyful exuberance, that, that wanderlust of the creative spirit, you must maintain. And uh, even when you make this into a profession or a business and you are making your living, there still has to be that joyousness. Uh, joyfulness that will help you, will fuel you. It's that passion, that fire in your belly, that that giddiness you get when you've done something and you're so happy and it brings an inner joy. You must hold on to that and not become a bitter or tarnished or hardened by the uh, challenges it takes to become successful as a creative person. But you always have to keep that kind of a love for, that pure love for your, your work. And those are the three things I would quickly share uh, with an emerging artist, regardless of age, uh, that you must embrace these three uh, aspects, uh, these three principles to be successful and to be able to have long-term success, creative success, regardless of monetary gain, is that to, be cr to consistently produce and, cr per and to create quality work. So... Please share this content. I'm on LinkedIn, Facebook, and YouTube. You can see, visit my YouTube uh, channel, Eric McRae. So my blogs are there, and you can see content on a various subjects. I'm also on Facebook. You can go to McRae Studios on Facebook, as well as Eric McRae on Facebook. 
and my website, ericmcray.com. Please share, hit that like button, that subscribe button, and make sure you're sharing this content. Thank you so much and take care.